Hello everybody, this is Jazz bringing you another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red. Last time we just started our adventure. Now we're going to get serious. Um, I think. Uh, level 6 Damon, same as always. Now we're going to capture more Pokemon. But first, it is highly recommended to go to Blue Sister's house, despite his warning. I don't want you coming around. I don't bother coming around, because she ignores her brother's, you know, warnings. Grandpa asked you to run an errand. Gee, that's lazy of him. Here, this will help you. Now, this is very important. Without the town map, you may become a lost dog, literally. So, now we can capture some Pokemon here, folks. I mean, I may capture all the Pokemon on this route anyway, just for, you know, Pokedex-wise. But I will decide which ones I'm using right from the get-go. I may need a flying type, but I don't need one this instance. But, he may be useful later. So I have a fire type and he will evolve into a flying type. I give him one hit. Now I'm trying to decide what to name it for him. Because I really cannot. I think I might know, actually. Okay, let's see what this has to say. Does not like to fight. It hides in tall grass and so on. Foraging for food such as small bugs. Mmm. Doesn't like to fight. I think I definitely have a name for him now. A-A. And... Gee, if this makes sense, Aang, Avatar, The Last Airbender. Let's just check out Aang's stats anyway. It's a lax nature, and uh, he's a mild, okay? He seems to excel at attack over special attack as of now. His defenses, special defense could use a little work. Speed is really good as well. Attack and speed seem to be its strengths. Not bad for a defense. Keen eye is good for, you know, things like sand attack. That isn't a bad Pidgey, actually. But I gotta think of what Pokemon I do need right now. Ratatat 1 is one I need. I know, you're all thinking, what the hell are you thinking? Ratatat, derp, what so? I would count my chickens before they hatch. Not in the least. Since this is the Nuzlocke either, it'd be a good chance to actually use him right through, unlike Gary Oak. Oh, boy, that slow ding ding gets nerve wracking. Okay, that was caught. Its fangs are long and very sharp. They grow continuously, so it gnaws on hard things to whittle them down. Mm. Mm. You know, I'm going with my old name. Mick Filchy, just like I'm Crystal Wedlock. Like, I know you guys will all think I'm nuts. I mean, like, I know in the Crystal Wedlock it's different because it's kind of a random thing where I kind of have no choice. But still, he's a pretty good Pokemon. 
despite what you may think. A calm nature. Uh, very lackluster attack, though. The only real good thing about it is speed and HP. Although at least I can run away. Hmm. We're going to be buying items once we get here with the you know watts. So I may just kind of think what I need to raise my stats on. I have a for me I'll, I've all men so far. I definitely know for a start. I am sorry there, Aang, but right now not biggest thing on my mind, so Yes, Ratatat seems like a worse Pokemon to keep, but Aang look I'll use Aang at some point. I mean, right now I don't need fly for starters. Though I may capture one Pokemon over there. May, may not. So for now I have McFiltry and Damien. Alright guys. I'm going to go over to the Pokemart. So I will see you when I get back from shop. Okay guys. I uh. Shopped and I did level up a bit. Off screen. But then again you guys do know I use rare candy so. I may not from now on. Oh, Jack is the heck. When I last look, it was very, very low. Well, defense is pretty good. Now, he gained the move quick attack. Charmander has Ember, I believe. Now. Now, we're, what we're going to do is we're going to go over Battle or Rival again. Got some potions. May as well show you what I bought. Got Rare Candy Antidote Potion. Five! Free Pokeball. But I got five Pokeballs. Master Balls you can't buy as many anyway. And that's for an emergency and 99 Ultra Balls. Next, the best thing for like a super emergency, I'll use the Master Ball. Going over here. So I have the what? I have the Lax or Call. I have the Calm Ratatat and the Mild Charmander. So far in my team. Calm for McFiltry really wasn't my visual, but... Oh, well. Right, let's go. Or should I catch... Yeah, you know what? Heck. Catch one more team member before taking on... Blue. And a Mankey! Whoa! Yeah. Hi, McFiltry! I'm using the Ultra Ball, just capturing him. This is our new team member. So I definitely need a Ratatat. <laughs> what? It was an Ultra Ball! You're a tough one. You broke right out of an Ultra Ball. I mean, yes, I know it's not always 100% catching its luck, but... You would think an Ultra Ball level 3 Mankey. What the hell? Really? Who the hell is stubborn as an ox? That does it. Oh, thank God. Great. Great. That was very humiliating, I gotta
instead of emit two ultra balls and he breaks out. Ah, yes. Who else is... Yeah. Light and agile on its feet, and ferocious in temperament. When angered, it flies into an uncontrollable frenzy. That kind of suits this guy right here. Mm. You know what? It's silly for me to do this. I'm naming it Paul. You know one of the um, Quillettes on the Twilight Saga? Apparently he's the most angered wolf in the whole tribe. So I think that would suit this guy's personality very well. Besides the 3 HP and as left. What else is? Call what? What? You have got to be kidding me. Really? Oh well, you can't go to sleep. Ah. Ay, 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 ay. You know what? I'm healing up right here. Bringing you at level nine as well. Just speeding this up too, just a little bit. Level six. Bomb kick is not bad of a move, actually. He will be really useful against Brock. There. Now, potion. Is actually, I think. I mean, I know, but I have an idea. But still, it's best to check an ID attack. Actually, defense. A low tripping kick that inflicts more damage on heavier foes. So something like Onyx, it will be ideal for. It's best to always save the game, or if you don't. Let's go. Before we end this episode, we are definitely doing the battle against Gary. Oh my god. Or we're catching another Pokemon? Nope. Ha. Oh. Levels are getting high, right? If. But my runaway helps a lot. Pretty sure he starts with the starter. If not, then it's another oops, I did it again moment like Crystal. Hey, Jazz. You're off to the Pokemon League. Forget about it. You probably don't have any badges, do you? The guard won't let you through without them. By the way, did your Pokemon get any stronger? Huh. Let's see right now if it has. Oh, you're kidding. Right, right. So he starts with Pidgey. Oh, fantastic. Oh. Quick attack? Am I going to just lose completely terrible? 
Ah, you were kidding. Right. It's going to be a sand attack war, is it? Eh. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I haven't made the smartest decision that way. Okay. Yay! Okay, you have got to be kidding me, right? Really? Why the hell am I doing this? Okay, I guess that means he is not very heavy. Once he's a blast twist, and that will be something to see. Well, good job, Paul. You did it. Uh, you just lucked out. Yeah, you lucked out for critical hitting my poor Rattata. I heard the Pokemon League is crawling with tough trainers. I have to figure out how to get past them. You should quit dawdling and get up, move on. Um, okay, I, whatever you say. I just may level him up to level 10. Just to get him out of its fainted status. Head potion them. Maybe try to catch one more Pokemon. Spiro, whoa. Well, I wonder if it's going to be as stubborn as that Mankey was. Guess not. It busily flits around here and there. Even if it is frail, it can be a tough foe that uses mirror move. Cliche. Name it Ash. Don't know why, but. Hmm. Nah, you know what? Never mind. Naming this one Emmett. If I get a Pikachu, I'll name it Ash. And if it's a female, may I name it Ashley? Just 
to kind of E M M O. I forgot the E. Not bad. Let's see this Pokemon. It's a lax nature. Pretty good attack and speed and uh, average other stats. He knows peck and growl. Well, I think I will end this episode off now. Next time we'll probably try to get a few more Pokemon here. Go to um, Viridian Forest. Make our way through there. Well, anyway, that's it. I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play Put One Fire Red. See you next time.